Premier Ford at a Woodbridge Auto Parts plant today to announce help for the troubled Ontario auto sector. Help is here. We're here and we're going to help the industry. The Premier announced $40 million over three years to help keep auto jobs in the province, with some of the money going towards autonomous vehicle development and employee training. He also promised quick approvals on auto plant expansions. But as GM prepares to leave Oshawa, is this enough? With all due respect, $40 million is just a drop in the bucket when it comes to the budget in, an, in Ontario. Do you really think this is going to help save the auto industry here with the problems so wide-ranging, sir? Do, do you know what's going to help the, the auto industry? And we've, we've talked to the auto industry in depth numerous times. Is making sure we get rid of the regulation and red tape. We ended up getting rid of Bill 148. was a job-killing bill. This is like Christmas coming us getting elected to industries across the province. You really think the workers in GM are happy you were elected, sir? You know something? Everyone knew in the industry that was in the plans a few years uh, ago to make, you know, to close down. NDP leader Andrea Horvath tells me she doesn't think today's announcement goes far enough. It's such a small amount. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but when you have a government that's basically, you know, kiboshed electric vehicle incentives, pulling out uh, electric charging stations, when we know that the electric car and the autonomous car are the, you know, the future, this really is not going to make up for some of the signals that he's already put out there. But representatives from auto parts associations gave the Ford plan a thumbs up. And you think this is going to make a difference? Yeah, I think it's a good first step. This is the kind of stuff we've been asking for for years, and it's, I'm, I'm happy somebody listened. Premier Ford accused Unifor President Jerry Dias of going too far with his call for a GM boycott. I disagree with his, uh, his game plan here. Going after and attacking GM is just the wrong thing to do. There's no question we've gotten their attention. They're hoping we'll go away. The chances of that is zero. Canadians are punishing them every day. I talk to people every day on the streets. If you look at GM sales, they dropped 30% in December, 15% in January. So Canadians are punishing them, and that's the only thing they understand. With the Premier in Woodbridge, Richard Southern, City News.